What you'll do is you'll take these pieces, the brown ones and the white ones, and you're gonna shape them like this. So you might want to, you know, maybe your fingers might be a little bulky like mine are uh, and make it difficult to move them where you want them. So a lot of times I'll use, I'll use this and kind of push it where I want it. The, in, the white parts will make up the netting on the inside. And of course, these curved parts work together to make the hoop. And once you have it set up the way that you want it, you're gonna take some glue. And again, remember, we don't need very much at all. This is super tiny pieces of paper. And we're just gonna carefully put it in the place where we decided we want it to be. And we're putting it kind of high up because it's okay if things move because uh, once that thing is set, it'll be easier to put the others down. <clears throat> we're putting this kind of high up near the moon because we want to have the strings dangling down where they hang the feathers. Just like when we learned about dream catchers in our lesson, they, they had those, um, the feathers hanging below where the dreams could just drip right off, right? So we put the glue on there and we're just gonna place it where we want it. And it becomes easier and easier as we put each of these pieces down. We do want them to be touching and maybe overlapping a little bit. Just kind of hold it in place for a few seconds. And because it's so light and small, it does not take long for it to uh, set. <clears throat> we want to make sure to get some on the middle and also on the edges. Remember to have it overlap a little. I'm down to my last part to put down. See, it's all set. Put a little bit of glue, just a few little dots. And if it's not a perfect circle, that's fine. Just do the best that you can to shape it into a circle shape. And when you're finished, you can start gluing these in place. <laughs>